and we're designing these beautiful assets with our brand. We've designed everything related to their logo and the fonts and the colors, and we put all the visuals together, and then they send us these absolutely horrible so how do you turn your business into an actual brand? Well, my name is Bijal Patel and I've had 13 years of corporate experience working at big Fortune 500 companies and I'm taking all of that juicy firsthand experience and have brought it into my company launch. Within this podcast, you're going to learn about branding, vision, identity, mindset, and how to scale your business to the next level. So let's go ahead and own your brand. So setting up for a branded photo shoot, what you need to know, how you need to dress, and how can you most accurately reflect your brand. So I'm gonna run into this because so many people get this lost, confused, or copy someone else's brand. And I'll tell you this, copying someone else's brand is what? Not unique. So in this day and age, you really wanna be able to differentiate. And we're gonna cover like a few things that you can take away right now and be able to use the next time you're planning a branded photo shoot. So here's what I'm gonna do with this one. I wanna start with what not to do. Let's start with what not to do. What not to do, number one, is do not hire a cheap photographer. Do not hire a cheap photographer. Here, let me break down what cheap means. If somebody is willing to shoot you for one hour for like, let's say a branded photography headshots and they cost $300 or less, that is not your person. That's not your person. They are not at the skill level yet for you to be able to be represented in a way that most uniquely shines and puts a light on you in a positive way. So just like anything, what you pay for, you get what you pay for. Trust me as a branding expert, when I get branded photography from our clients that we use as a part of designing their whole social media banners or designing their websites, and we're actually creating custom marketing, unique collateral for them, and we're designing these beautiful assets with our brand. We've designed everything related to their logo and the fonts and the colors, and we put all the visuals together, and then they send us these absolutely horrible branding pictures. Horrible. Like, I remember I got a set from one guy. The photographer didn't, like, mention to him that his buttons were starting to, like, pull apart at the bottom of his pants. All the guy needed to do was be able to just adjust because he didn't notice as the shoot went on that his pants were slipping down and he literally like, it was just a disheveled mess. But another set that looked like, like, like JC Penny background and they sent it to us and I rejected it. And I said, you're going to either reshoot these because you're not putting them with our graphics or you're going to go get it redone. And then they had to pay to get it done again. So that is number one rule. And the number two rule is you need to think about the colors and what style of clothing and accessories you're wearing. So if you are a consulting or a coaching type of company, or if you're somebody who's like a financial advisor, financial planner, you know, somebody who's like that, maybe it's a lawyer, you know, somebody who's in some type of professional services type of organization, you want to you want to dress the part. And I know coaches, there's a whole wide spectrum of them. If you're a lifestyle coach, we'll get to you in a second. But if you are a business coach and you don't want to be associated with the bro marketing that exists on the internet, do not wear a sweatshirt. There, I said it for you. Do not wear a sweatshirt. You're going to get associated with a lot of people who wear a sweatshirt because they want to be a part of the internet marketing bro crew who's like, look at me. I make multiple eight figures and I wear a sweatshirt because I don't care. Great. We're going to look like all of them. You're going to look like a man in a box like every other coach out there. So if that's really a part of your personal style, we, we can discuss that. We can look at that. We can say, hey, does this actually make sense and why? But don't do it because you're just copying someone else who's in your industry. That is the way that you lose. So just saying that, hey, everyone in my industry dresses like that, so I'm going to do that. I want you to put a different spin on things. So you want to at least look put together and made up because you're telling through your brand photography, I am somebody that is professional, trustworthy, I am integrous. I have integrity. You can count on me to help you get like your business scaled, to grow your revenue, to help you build out your team, to get your brand into place, to get your strategy working with marketing and to optimize your sales. You can count on me with a big investment. I will help you return on your investment. When you say that, you need to dress the part. You need to look the part that represents your unique brand. 
I'm just using the sweatshirt as an example, but you have to know yourself. And if you need guided help, then get it on what you should be dressed like. And then the third piece of what that is, is think about the colors and the accessories and things you're wearing. So as you're moving through the shoot, you want to be able to like switch from like, maybe you have, maybe you've gotten your swag already made. So it'd be awesome if you had hats or t-shirts or maybe wearing sunglasses or you have a Rolex, you have a like really nice timepiece because, you know, being a part of a luxurious kind of brand, you want to show that, Hey, I've earned this. And these things matter to me because a Rolex is a status symbol at the end of the day. So I have no problem. Like if you have a, if you have a Lamborghini and you want to shoot a picture with Lamborghini, I have no problem with that. The problem I have is with the shirtless Lambo shots. That's just, that's screaming internet marketing bro from 2020. And it's really, really outdated. It's screaming. I want to look like everyone else. And most of the time those Lambos are rented. So no problem. If you enjoy cars and it's a hobby of yours, or you like are a collector of timepieces, or you worked really hard, like I did to get my first Rolex, which I'm not even wearing because I don't really care. I mean, sometimes I'll put it on, but like, I am just that that's not a hundred percent a part of my brand. Like I might have a Rolex and I might have a t-shirt on from Amazon. Like I don't care. That's just who I am. I live in this custom home. I have all of the nice things. We have a Tesla. I don't have to take a picture with it. That's just not a part of my brand. So even though I enjoy luxury things, I don't need it always put out there for my audience. So I want you to think about that to say, what are your accessories reflecting about you? Hey guys, just taking a quick break here. I wanted to say I'm so grateful for you tuning in to today's episode. I hope you are loving it. And if you wouldn't mind, I would greatly, greatly appreciate if you could leave us a review, like, subscribe, share this with a friend or somebody that you work with, somebody who's on your team. If you think it'll help them, I would be so appreciative to you. All right, let's get back to it. So women earrings is a great place to go and it's something quick you can switch out in between outfits. Men, you wanna think about your belt, you wanna think about your shoes, you wanna think about your timepiece, you wanna think about those things and potentially if you're wearing jewelry, you know, what does that look like? Or is it a hat? What is it? Is it a coat? Is it is it a blazer with a t-shirt underneath? Is a really way, a really great way to look smart and still look casual at the same time. So. That on top of your swag, you want to think about where are you putting those into your photo shoot? You know, are you doing sunglasses sometimes to have kind of the cool factor? And then there's a whole different approach you want to take if you're doing a lifestyle photo shoot. So remember for my 40th birthday, I rented out this super amazing baller villa, private villa in Turks and Caicos. And it was absolutely gorgeous. And we did a photo shoot there. And so we did a photo shoot for my business. My husband has two different businesses. He has a plastic surgery business and he also has a SaaS company, did it for him. And then we did a family photo shoot, the four of us, my two little kiddos, I have a daughter and a son. And then my extended family was there, like my parents, his mom. And so we had all these different like scenes that we needed to put on. So I brought certain dresses with heels for like me and him as a couple shoot. I brought my launch hat. I brought glasses. I brought this like black tank top, you know, in jeans, which is like tip with like a fancy pair of like white sneakers. Like I bought that for the launch brand. So dip. And then with my family, I had on like really casual, like we're on vacation, like sundresses that were really colorful. So all of those different things, it's almost like I switched what my personality was and what I represented based on what the context of, of the, those pictures. So that's how you dress for it. And the other thing is you want to be able to wear layers. So so, hey, I've got this outfit on. If I have a jacket on, can I take it off really quick? Can I switch? You know, can I have something underneath that I can wear? So you don't lose a lot of time in the photo shoot. And for women, especially if you want to be able to just like start with your lightest makeup on first. So like no black eyeliner, no red lipstick, and then you can build your makeup on as the day goes on. So what that does is allow you to have dramatically different looks with your makeup without having to like redo it from scratch because the wider the range of outfits you have on, especially for a branded photo shoot, it's going to look fresh to your audience because it's not going to look like it was all from one single day. So a lot of time people make the mistake. Here's a rule of thumb. You can change outfits in a branded photo shoot about every 20 minutes. About every 20 minutes, the photographer is about, is probably going to end up with about five to 10 different shots of you in that outfit. And then you want to be able to switch. So that's super important for photography to be able to say, Hey, it's been about 20 minutes. Let me go ahead and change. So whether that's again, removing off a blazer, putting on earrings or for guys, it could be like, okay, I'll keep my pants and shoes the same with the belt, but I'm going to switch out my top. 
or I'm going to maybe put a hat on with this one. So there's easy and fast ways to do that where you're not losing your branded photography time. Because again, what was in rule number one? Rule number one was do not hire a cheap branded photographer. Find somebody, look at their photography, look at their reference. Do you like the ethos of how they have been able to shine the brightest assets of someone else? So you want to be able to take a look at that and it's going to make such a difference in what you see. And from there, what's going to happen is you get all these beautiful pictures back. Sometimes you're going to have to make decisions on what you keep. And when you're making decisions on what you keep, you want to have some things that have your brand swag in there. You're going to want to have some things that have different accessories that you have on. You want to have a range of clothes that you're wearing. And you want to think about the end effect. Are you going to use it in your social media posts? Are you going to use it as a part of reels in the background or where you have like a quote on top? You can make that a reel. Sometimes you can make it a carousel on an Instagram, which is something that we're doing is working really well, where we take like a quote from Twitter and we have it on top of a, a photo. So it looks really interesting. And there's the carousel I'll swipe on what that looks like. Are you going to like a lot of times you can take static images and make, like I said, different reels out of them. Is it going to go on your website? Is going to be a part of your funnel? Are you going to put it as a part of your like email marketing every now and again? So knowing that, hey, having a variety of different pictures, maybe you're pointing, maybe you're laughing. There's some that you're like, you know, I've got like a distinctive like, you know, R <laughs> RBF look sometimes because I'm making content that makes a difference. I'm teaching people things that are total bullshit and don't work in businesses. And I'm literally slaying this nonsense advice that's out there. And so sometimes I have a serious face because I'm bold and I'm direct and I tell it like it is. And I know what I'm doing. I helped a lot of successful multi six figures, multi seven figure business and multi eight figures take their businesses and turn them into brands. That is literally what I do. So I'm going to have an edge to me. That is who I am as a person. If you met me in person, you would find the same thing. So you want to be able to Dress like you do an elevated version of yourself. Doesn't always have to be fancy, but it, do you feel good about what you're wearing? Are you excited? Does it show off your right features? And does it show a range? So I love the concept of range because it's going to get you so much more utility out of that branded photo shoot that it's going to ROI and it's going to be absolutely worth it to set up who you are as the authority, the expert, the visible public figure that people need to follow and know because people are going to see that and they're going to say, this is somebody that I want to emulate. This is somebody who's a leader. This is somebody that I want to follow. And that love of what that image looks like will lead them to read whatever else was on the page that you were trying to get across. So anyways, go put that to use. You're going to be so thankful when you do.